In this video, I'll show you how to create and backtest your own automated trading strategy using Clio Finance Trading Platform. It's super simple, and once you know all the nooks and crannies of the platform, you can test out literally billions of different combinations to maximize your chances of finding the profitable trading bot you're looking for. To start, click on this bots button. It'll open the platform for creating automated strategies. Here we can see several sections. The first one lets you select the data source. From what exchange or broker do you want the data to load? In the second column, you need to pick your asset. And on the right side of the panel, you'll see current market data about the asset, such as its 24 hour range, bid ask spread, and some other information that can come handy. And finally, long shorts feature determines if your bot will be looking for buys or sells. Below we have bot settings panel. Here you simply need to give your bot a name and you have the option to write a description that will help you identify this bot later. We can also toggle category. This is currently just for you, sort of like a tag, but in the future we will introduce a feature that will allow you to automatically turn on bots that are marked as bullish or bearish based on your bias on that particular day. In third panel, you're selecting default evaluation timeframe. Basically, on what timeframe do you want the bots to run? Now, I said default timeframe because you can select custom timeframe with every single item in the open or closed conditions, as I'll show you in a second. And now finally, we get to the meat of the page, the conditions. As you can see, you're writing open and closed conditions separately. Open conditions are mandatory, closed conditions are not. You will need to define a way to close the position, but you can use protections, stop loss and take profit, instead of close conditions. You can use all three if you want to. You can even have multiple protections at the same time, closing just part of the position. All of this to make sure nothing limits your creativity. The conditions are written in plain English, and you can select them from the dropdown or write them yourself, in which case you can confirm them with the spacebar or enter. The parser will also guide you to the next step by only showing options that logically make sense. You won't therefore be able to write conditions that would automatically result in no trades and thus wasted your backtesting limits. For example, you can't say RSI is crossing a price because RSI has its own chart and own scale. You can write as many conditions as you want. Just keep in mind that the lines have end between one another. This means that all individual lines of conditions must be fulfilled at the same time for the position to open. So, what kind of conditions can you write? When you click into the first line, a dropdown will appear, which will show you all the available options. The platform offers some 55 technical indicators, hundreds of assets, dozens of candles and candlestick patterns, normal and hidden bullish and bearish divergences, and you can even draw a trend line and use that in your automated system. Side note, the trend line is mostly useful for smart trading, which is a one-off bot, opens only one position ever, but if you wanted to backtest some general trend line, you can utilize it in a bot as well. We can draw a trend line on the chart below and then type price is crossing up or down or is above or below, depending on how you're using the trend line, then select the correct trend line and you're good to go. Price can be compared to any technical indicator commonly displayed within the same chart window, including moving averages, parabolic SAR, Bollinger Bands and Keltner Channels. Especially useful is using price momentum. Type price and select is up by or is down by comparison type. Now you can select certain changes in values or percentages in specific amount of time. Click on the right choice and fully edit the conditions to meet your demands. Everything is fully customizable. As I've already mentioned, you can set custom time frame or even custom asset to every single condition. We're currently building a trading bot on Bitcoin, but by clicking on the condition we want to change, we can select custom asset and even custom time frame for each line. This condition will now be fulfilled if RSI on Solana with lookback period of 9 hourly bars is crossing up 30. This is especially useful if you want to make sure the lower and higher time frame direction is in sync or if there is an asset with high correlation that you'd like to consider before entering the trade. In price action section, you can also find candles and candlestick patterns. We categorize them as neutral, bullish and bearish. Simply click through to see which ones Clio supports and if you need other patterns, don't be afraid to let us know using the support button on the left side menu. 
In advanced section, you can find four divergencies. With divergencies, it is important to select the correct order of the compared values. The first item is the norm and the second is the divergent one. For example, if you're looking for standard RSI divergence, this is the correct order it should be written in. You can look for divergencies between price and many other indicators, usually oscillators or indicators with their own secondary chart, divergencies between multiple assets, or even between the indicators themselves. We are constantly working on adding more indicators, comparisons, and more customizations, so chances are that by the time you are watching this video, we've already added something new. Make sure you go try it out on your own, you can run 10 automated backtests every month for free. In Clio Finance, you have the flexibility to set margin or position size in four different ways. It's the blue highlight and target icon that indicates which setting will be used for calculations. The remaining three provide only information on volume. You can choose between setting the position size in absolute and relative values, depending on your trading style. If you select absolute values, any of these three, every position will be opened with the same size every time. Position size in USDT is just margin in USDT multiplied by leverage, and with this setting, each position will equal $1000. Selecting position size in Bitcoin ensures that every position remains equivalent to that specific amount of Bitcoin, even as the market moves. Settings the margin in percentage is the ideal choice if you want to capitalize on fluctuations of your trading balance. This settings ensures that every position equals a predetermined percentage of your balance at the open time of each position, allowing you to reap the rewards of your increasing funds or opening smaller positions as your balance goes down. With protections, you have similar options. You can set them as fixed market price or you can set how far away from the open price it should be. In this case, we say that the price must climb 3% from opening price to hit our take profit. Or we can simply set it as PL value, again in fixed dollar terms or as percentages of our current balance. Once you're happy with the conditions and overall settings, click the Create and Backtest button. This will move you to the second screen where you get the summary of your previous settings. We set the initial balance and backtest period. We also have an option to choose if we want to apply any transaction costs. Then just click Create Backtest and wait for the results. Even complex one-minute strategy tested on years of data takes only a few seconds. Click on the notification when you get one and view the strategy's result. You get very detailed statistics, as is standard across all Clio Finance features, so you can break down the strategy's performance, and you can decide what to do with it next. If you're happy with it, you can deploy it to live account if you've connected one, you can duplicate it and change some of the conditions, timeframes or other settings, or you can start from scratch with a new strategy. And that's it. I hope this was useful to you. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.